Hi, it's Richard from Ignite Growth, and I just wanted to go into a bit more detail around secret number two in the report. Now, secret number two was all about focusing on being a specialist and not a generalist. Now, this is something that I talk about a lot with clients and whenever I'm working with clients and in my own business, I focus in on looking at their past 100 orders and identifying trends. Now, what we're looking for, certainly in B2B, we're looking for a specific industry that we're really strong in and we're looking for the person that we usually speak to within that industry on our initial meeting. So we're looking for the decision maker, yes, but I'm also looking for the type of industry. So if there's a specific sector that we can drill down into and dominate, it always gives us a massive advantage when we're mapping out our strategy. And it also means that growing to a million pounds or further than that is nearly always more than achievable within that certain sector. So think about your own business and think about going narrow and going deep rather than going wide and broad. And most business owners in your first three or four years, you just sell to everybody. You're trying to really get as many customers as you can on board. And there's no real focus on this being a specialist. But however, being a specialist really positions you as the thought leader in the marketplace. You become that thought leader. You become the authority. You get the trust. And you also aren't judged on price. You'll find the broader you go and the more general you go, the more you'll be out there with everybody else and it'll be down to who's the cheapest. Whereas when you're that expert, that specialist in that sector and people know that this is who you solve for, this is the pain you solve, this is how you solve it and this is why you do it better than anybody else, then they start gravitating towards you. You start attracting the right highly targeted people to you from the right sector and the right people because you know the companies within that sector, you can have really focused marketing, you can produce really relevant content for those people that work within those companies and especially that decision maker, that person who you want to be the champion in any conversations you have selling within in a company. You know it probably won't just be the decision maker around the table, there's probably going to be five or six other people. I think the average is about 4.55 people around the table when you have a B2B decision made. So there might be the finance director pulled into the conversations. There might be the CEO. It might be the marketing, the sales. It might be the IT uh, department or the um, tech uh, people within the company. But what you want to do is go very narrow and become that expert in their eyes. Because when you are, you'll find that selling your service, selling your solution or your product becomes that much easier and you'll dominate those markets. I can guarantee it, I've seen it time and again that when people really, and what we do is we tend to audit our last 100 customers as I say, look for these trends and say, right, we're really strong in manufacturing. What size manufacturing businesses are we really strong with? Well, usually the ones up to 100 people of this level of turnover. And this is the person that we help most within that manufacturing business. This is the pain, the challenge he's facing. And this is how our solution, our product, our service solves that better than anybody else. And that's the position you take. It's key that you have that position. So when people visit your website, they know that you help manufacturing businesses of this size with this problem. And there, this is the solution that you can help them with. So hopefully that's useful. I just wanted to really focus in on secret two because I think it's, it is one of the main secrets to grow into a million pounds. And it also makes everything else far easier. Once you get in your mind, this is who we help. These are the people, these are the companies then everything else becomes far easier because you can map your strategy out, your marketing and lead generation is very focused, who you talk to on LinkedIn, how your sales process works, how your delivery of your service, the other services and products you can maybe develop around your existing core service. You know, all of this becomes really clear once you get a a clear idea in your mind who you're targeting and you forget everybody else for now Just go all in on that one vertical, that one sector, the people within that sector, those companies, and really zero in on attracting them to your business. And you'll find that your growth will just, it'll just grow and grow and grow with your business and the revenues and the highly targeted people you attract to it. And the referrals, people who are within these sectors are often well connected and they'll refer other people to you as well. So there's huge benefits 
to becoming a specialist and not a generalist. All right, take care and I'll talk to you soon.